We're talking about how to be a holy rascal. So I got to define that and do some other things. And we got 15 minutes. And so we're going to sing instead. <laughs> some of you have know this song from me, and the rest will pick it up. This is a, a Hasidic thing, but it's all in English, so you don't have to worry about the Hebrew or anything else. So I'm going to do it part by part, and then we'll get it, and I'll unpack it, and we'll move on with whatever time we have left. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I'm alive. So that's the first half, try it again. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I'm alive. In the second part. And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? And who? Is this aliveness I am? If not the Holy Blessed One, try the last half again. And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? If not the Holy Blessed One. Now we can get up and do it, okay? He I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. He I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. He I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I'm alive. And who is this? aliveness I am and who is this aliveness I am and who is this aliveness I am if not the holy blessed one he I did it I did it I did I die I am alive he I did it I did it I did I die I am alive I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive, I'm alive. And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? And who is this aliveness I am? If not the holy blessed one river. Okay, thank you very much. So let's unpack that. <clears throat> Rabbis, did anybody know, because that, that's English, David Zeller, who did, do you know the original? Is it the Chernobyl Rebbe? Some, anyone know this song? Because I can give the, no, okay. It's a Hasidic song, take my word for it. Uh, <clears throat> let's unpack it. So you start out with, I'm alive. I mean, how amazing is that? What the Buddhists call this precious incarnation. 13.8 billion years it took to get you here. <laughs> so congratulations, you made it. <laughs> so you want to celebrate that. I'm alive. So, you know, so then, then you say, well, okay, so what is this aliveness? Who am I? Well, first, I'm a male, and I'm Jewish, and I'm liberal, and I've got all these labels. You know, I'm a dad and a, and a husband, and I have a dog, so I'm, you know, <laughs> keeper of the dog and all that stuff. <laughs> you have all these labels. And we tend to identify with those as if they were really us. So then the song goes on and says, and who is this aliveness I am? I'm not those labels. Before I am a Jew, I'm something else. Before I'm a human, I'm something else. What that something else is, we can't say. Because like Lao Tzu says, if you can say it, it ain't it. That's a modern translation of the first line of the Tao Te Ching. What he actually said was, don't you, but. <laughs> But I'm, I made that up. 
<laughs> so you've got to like recognize the fact that we aren't who we think we are. And to me, the heart of interspirituality is getting to that place of not being labeled. No costumes, no, no, no theologies, no identifying characteristics, simply falling into this place of absolute love like Father Matthew was talking about. I love calling him Father Matthew. And <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. He worked hard for that. <laughs> falling into this place of love, and we're going to talk more about that in the breakout session and what that really means. But, it, but fundamentally, it means being stripped naked of all of these labels. So who am I? Who is this aliveness I am? And then the song gives us another concept, so we have to live with that. It's the holy blessed one, that ultimate reality that's now carved in stone in the eight agreements uh, that, that at the next conference we intend to break a la Moses <laughs> right? and shatter those agreements and be free once again. <laughs> so a holy rascal is someone who shatters the, ta the tablets. A holy rascal is someone who says, you know what our problem is? Our problem is not that all the religions don't get along. That's also a problem. But the real problem is you think there are religions. <laughs> The real problem is you drag, you know, the technical term is schlep. You schlep <laughs> your labels around with you everywhere you go. And then you use them, I'm the Jew. You know, so you get the little hat, I'm the Jewish guy. And you can tell there's different kinds of hats for different kinds of Jews. And he's the rainbow Jewish guy, and he's the uh, black hat guy, and you know, Father, you know, Father Ted. You know, so Rabbi Ted's got another hat. So we have all these labels that we, we, we walk around like billboards. <laughs> for systems of thought that fundamentally, that are fundamentally false. They point toward something, at least that was the original idea, you know, Zen terms the finger pointing toward the moon, but eventually they just start to point back to themselves. And once the finger starts to point back to itself, when you're dealing with other people, you simply have to give them the finger. Because <laughs> that's all you've got. <laughs> so we're beyond that stage, right? But what I want, are, are holy rascals, people who are out in the world, subversive, secret agents for the, un, for the ineffable, whose job it is, is not to more humanely explain the meme with which, into which they were born or, or they chose to, to, to join. A lot of us are, are sort of hyphenated, what, what do you call it, multiple belonging? Yeah? So I tried that with my wife, she didn't buy that. <laughs> but it works with God, God doesn't seem to care. He's like, you know, but, not, not the God of the Bible, though. That's a jealous God, but like my wife. But <laughs> I want someone who's going to go in and, like Toto, and Toto is, is one of the, the patron saints of the Holy Rascals. Toto, Dorothy's dog, Toto and the Wizard of Oz. You know, they go to see the wizard. I am a great and terrible Wizard of Oz. And they're scared shitless. <laughs> All right? Can you say that on? Yes, yeah, this is TV. So they're scared out of their minds. And then Toto goes up and pulls the curtain back. And you see what is always behind the curtain. A little man. It's almost always a man. <laughs> with a big megaphone to compensate for being a little man. And that's the revelation that the holy rascal brings. Not something from God, but just pulling the curtain back on the people who say they are God or know God or have God in a box. Another of our patron saints is the little kid who, tells the, the, who shouts out to the crowd, the emperor has no clothes. Mm -hmm. Same idea. That's what I want. That's what I'm here to recruit. So I want, I want to recruit people to, to be subversives. And I actually have a task for those who are willing to do it. I'm going to hand this out now. And so you can, you can help me out. Everyone take a card. And you can give them back to me if you don't want to do this. I'm, I won't be offended. So you're, we're getting these little, little uh, business card kind of things. And I'm going to read this, and then I'm going to tell you what I want you to do with it. And if you, again, if you don't want to do it, just give them back to me. Don't throw them away. Or if you know someone who would do it, give it to them and let them get in trouble. OK, so I will read this to you so we, we're all on the same card. What I want you to do is I want you to stick these in holy books. Bibles, Korans, Gitas, right? 
Christian Bibles, Jewish Bibles, doesn't matter. Stick them, go to the bookstore or a church or a mosque or wherever you got these books. Stick them in the book, anywhere. And then someone's going to find it, and what it says is, this book contains a variety of images of God. Some promote the status quo, others subvert it. Some lead to oppression, others to liberation. Approach this book thoughtfully and critically. Study it with an open mind, not an empty head. Trust only those teachings that deepen your commitment to justice and compassion, and reject those that harden your heart and tighten your fists. Yeah. Stick that. <laughs> right? So go to Barnes and Noble before they're gone, <laughs> and stick go to the Bible section or whatever. You know, open up, this, stick it in there, and someone's going to get the Bible. Oh no, they get the, and they're going to open it and go, "What the hell?" <laughs> and and what I hope this does, it subverts the meme of the authority that the text holds, that the tradition holds, that the theology holds. I think our problem comes from the ego's attachment to certain concepts. And what I want to do is I want to undermine those concepts. I don't want to argue against them because that's just concept against concept. I mean, all I'm saying to you is concept also. What I want to do is get us to laugh at them. The biggest threat to religious authority is laughter. <laughs> Anyone see the movie or read the book Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco? So what was the problem in that book? The problem in that book was the monks were going into the stacks and they were reading a, a lost, supposedly, lost treatise of Aristotle where, about humor. And the, the, the senior monks in the monastery were afraid that the monks would read this. So they poisoned the pages. So as the monks were turning the pages, they were eating the poison and they would die so they couldn't actually laugh or help anyone else laugh. Laughter was the most frightening thing. I know, but, but, it's, but it's sad, but it's true. Because if you laugh at your religion, I don't mean, you know, uh, scoff, that's, that's something else. I don't mean mock, that's something else. I mean see it and, and be able to laugh at, at what's being taught in some, some in, intense joy that just frees you from it. I don't know if that makes any sense. But you know, religion doesn't like laughter. You can't go to a synagogue unless the rabbi is telling a joke and then you better laugh. But <laughs> if, if you just can't go in there and laugh at stuff. It doesn't work. I mean, you can't go to communion, which I think is one of the most intimate things you could possibly do with a god, eat the god, right? <laughs> and I mean, most people don't let me take their bodies into my mouth. I know, I've tried. <laughs> and yet Jesus doesn't mind. <laughs> it's cool. How intimate is that? That's so amazing. That should make you laugh, but it doesn't. It's like, body of Christ, like, blood of Christ. You know, it's like, it's not solemn. It should be body of Christ. Whoa! It should blow your mind. But the mind is trapped in these memes. And that's what, it, that's what this card is. It, one of the things that holy rascals, I want them to do. Put those cards, put those cards in. So I could repeat myself. I'm not going to do it. So you get the idea. You get the idea. We're going to go into it more deeply if, uh, if you're interested, if you come to the breakout. So we're going to go back and do the best thing we can do, which is to sing. We have one minute left. <laughs> See, we had the 10-minute card, the five-minute card, the three-minute card. You ignored them all, and you just gave me the one-minute card. <laughs> 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 is it too heavy? What's the problem? You good? All right. I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. Yeah, I did it, I did it, I did I die, I am alive. I'm alive. So now sing it to each other. And who is this aliveness? I am. Make contact with other aliveness. Who is this aliveness? I am. Turn the camera around. Watch them. Is this aliveness? I am. If not the holy blessed one, the I did it, I did it, I did it, I, I am alive. The I did it, I did it, I did it, I, I am alive. The I did it, I did it, I did it, I, I am alive. I'm alive. And who is this aliveness? I am. And who 
Is this aliveness? I am. And who is this aliveness? I am. If not the holy blessed one. Thank you. So how do we take this lesson and turn it on ourselves here? How do we how do we take a look at ourselves here in this conference and, and laugh at ourselves? <laughs> I don't know, Tim How. <laughs> you get in trouble. Why do I just got <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, honestly, this is a heavy conference. There's a lot of heavy stuff happening. Not a lot of laughter. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's too early to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Luckily, I don't hear any megaphones. Yeah. Right? So maybe, so maybe it's not so necessary. But so, so I, don't, I don't have an answer to that. Maybe streak? Streak? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, you mean like take off your clothes and streak? Yeah. So Roger, go ahead. <laughs> because here's, here's why, Roger. Because we're trying to be without labels, but if I get naked, the label is right there on my penis. Yeah. It's like, I can't get rid of it. But you don't have that. So, no, you have a penis. I didn't mean that. But, you know. I didn't know you were that intimate, right? <laughs> I just, I just wanted to make a comment that what I'm taking from what you're saying is not necessarily laughter at, the, at things, but to be joyful. Right, that's, that's right, right. I'm not, I, we're not mocking, we're not making fun of, but we're tapping it. If you tap the divine and it doesn't lead to laughter, I mean, that's what Lao Tzu said. If the Tao doesn't make you laugh, it ain't the Tao. <laughs> so, and... You know, in, 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 in Hasidic Judaism, joy is the way, is the way. But it's also the, it's not just the path, it's the place, you know? The kingdom of heaven ought to be a place where everyone's laughing. Yeah. It, should, it should be more like, the kingdom of heaven is, is more like the, the, the Borscht Belt comics, you know, you go to those in upstate New York, you know, you're not Jewish. So anyway, it's, it's more like a comedy club than, than, a, than a funeral home. But I think we turn it all into funeral homes. Partly because we kill each other <laughs> over it, and it's, it's just more convenient. <laughs> Carry the corpses right over there. But, but it should be more like a comedy club. Because God is, I mean, you know, when, when Isaac, you know, Isaac is born, Isaac means laughter, Yitzchak, from Tzchak, laughter. And what's the first thing that, the, that Abraham's told to do in his mind, he imagines? Kill laughter. You know, that's how, I mean, that's how I read that story. It's, it's, he imagines God, who I don't think is the real God. He imagines God, and the first thing God says is kill laughter. He also told him to kill the man of God, Ishmael. That was earlier. And then he says, kill laughter. It's that, whoever invented that God, and I think a lot of us carry that God with us, that God is killing us. And we're using that God to kill one another. But to me, God is, is discovered. My Zen master, Suzaki Roshi, back in 1970-something, early 70s, said, Zazen is fine, but all you really have to do is get up in the morning, sit on the edge of your bed, and fake laugh. <laughs> and eventually, you'll actually laugh. And then he said, just laugh until the tears run down, then you're done for the day. <laughs> until the tears run down your legs. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go to the bathroom first, then come back and laugh. If you have a bladder problem, yeah, check that out. <laughs> Dezens. We have to like new pants, like Dezens instead of Depends. You could put those on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are, we, are we out of time? We are out of time. All right.